Good day everyone, I am Julian Fame B. Dabai and today we are going to present to you our research. Together with Jada Rian T. Malin, we are third year nursing students from the Columban College, College of Nursing here in the Philippines. Good day everyone, I am Jada Rian T. Malin, one of the presenters today from Columban College Incorporated College of Nursing in the Philippines. And in this slide, you will see the geographical location of our campus at 1 Mount Apple, Longapo City, Zambales, Philippines. And on the right side, you will see our building, which is the College of Nursing. Presenting to you cultural competency of Filipino nurses abroad, a mixed method research study, and we have our co-authors, Ms. Velasco Haname, Ms. Caluza Mary Julian, Ms. Prado Arden Mary, Ms. Ferrer Aliza Jan, Mr. Benitez Christian, Ms. Gunido Kimberly, and Ms. Arcega Cheryl. For the background of the study, the study mainly focuses on the concept of cultural competence in healthcare with a specific emphasis on Filipino nurses working abroad and interacting with foreign or diverse patients. Cultural competence plays a vital role in healthcare, enabling providers to deliver optimal care while respecting the cultural backgrounds and beliefs of their patients. Additionally, this study focuses on the cultural competency of Filipino nurses abroad, shedding light on their experiences and the challenges that they face. Furthermore, the findings of this study can contribute to the development of strategies and even interventions to enhance the cultural competence of Filipino nurses, also improve patient outcomes in diverse healthcare settings, explore factors influencing cultural competence, as well as identify areas for improvement in nursing education, practice, and policy. Moving on to the objectives of the study, these objectives aim to provide a comprehensive understanding of the dimensions of awareness, encounters, skills, knowledge, and desire in the cultural competency of Filipino nurses abroad. Objective 1, to assess the level of cultural awareness among Filipino nurses working abroad. This measures the extent of Filipino nurses demonstrate awareness of their own cultural background biases and assumptions and identify the factors that contribute and hinder to their cultural awareness. Objective 2, to examine the cultural encounters experienced by Filipino nurses abroad and their impact on cultural competency. This objective explore the different encounters of the nurses and investigate how it contributes to the development of their cultural competency. Objective 3, to evaluate that cultural competency skills of Filipino nurses working abroad. This objective determines and assess the relationship of the demographic profile of the nurses on their cultural competency skills while also exploring the perceptions of the Filipino nurses and the areas that needs to be improved. Objective 4, to assess the cultural knowledge of Filipino nurses working abroad. This examines the level of their knowledge and explore the sources that educationally help these nurses in regards with their cultural competency. And lastly, we have Objective 5, which is to investigate the desire of Filipino nurses to provide culturally competent care, assess the intrinsic Seek motivation of the nurses to deliver culturally sensitive care and explore the factors that influence the desire of the nurses to enhance their cultural competency. The framework of the study is anchored with the Campinabacote model of cultural competence in healthcare by Dr. Josefa Campinabacote. This is a widely recognized framework for understanding and promoting cultural competence in healthcare. This emphasizes the need for healthcare professionals to actively engage in a process of cultural competence that goes beyond mere awareness to achieve effective and equitable care for diverse patient populations. It consists of five related constructs, namely cultural awareness, cultural knowledge, cultural skill, cultural encounters, and cultural desire. Cultural awareness involves recognizing and acknowledging one's own cultural background, biases, and assumptions. It requires healthcare professionals to examine their attitudes, beliefs, and values to develop a deeper understanding of how these factors influence their interactions with patients from different cultures. On the other hand, cultural knowledge refers to the acquisition of comprehensive information about different cultures, including beliefs, values, traditions, and healthcare practices. Cultural skill, meanwhile, involves the ability to effectively integrate cultural awareness and cultural knowledge into clinical practice. Healthcare professionals need to develop specific skills to communicate, assess, and provide culturally appropriate care. This includes being able to elicit and interpret cultural information from patients, adapting communication styles, and incorporating cultural preferences into care plans. For cultural encounters, this refers to direct interactions between healthcare professionals and patients from diverse cultures. This encounter provides opportunities and apply cultural competence skills deepen understanding and develop meaningful relationships. Lastly, cultural desire rep represents the intrinsic motivation and commitment of healthcare professionals to provide culturally competent care. It involves a genuine interest and passion for learning about different cultures, respecting diversity, and addressing health disparities. 
onto the methodology. This study employs a mixed methods approach to collect data from Filipino nurses working on different countries. Quantitative data will be collected through validated surveys to assess the relationship of the demographic profile of the respondents and their cultural competency. Additionally, qualitative data was gathered through semi-structured interview via Zoom meetings in order to obtain in-depth insights of the Filipino nurses and the impact of working abroad on their ability to provide culturally appropriate care. The study will include a diverse sample of Filipino nurses from all around the world, which is summing up to 100 registered nurses, which is an alumni of Columban College Incorporated from the College of Nursing. The statistical treatment of our study. For the quantitative data, we employed several statistical measures to interpret the data effectively. We used the mean and percentage formula to determine the impact of cultural competency on Filipino nurses working abroad. We also used standard deviation to quantify the amount of variation or dispersion in the data and values we collected. In addition, we utilized the Likert scale to measure the influence of the cultural awareness, skill, knowledge, encounter, and desire on the cultural competency of Filipino expatriate nurses. We categorized the Likert scale responses into four ranges, strongly disagree, disagree, agree, and strongly agree, to identify the significance of the demographic profile of the respondents on their cultural competency, we employed a two-way ANOVA analysis. Shifting to the qualitative data, we used recording during interviews to capture the respondents' contributions in visual media through Zoom meeting, helping to establish rapport and encourage in-depth information sharing. Coding played a vital role in our qualitative data analysis, allowing us to move from the data to ideas and connect relevant information by creating a generalized idea of the different themes and sub-themes. Lastly, we employed a thematic analysis, a flexible method for understanding experiences, thoughts, or behaviors across our data set. Through these techniques, we were able to effectively interpret and analyze both of our quantitative and qualitative our study on the cultural competency of Filipino nurses abroad, we gathered some interesting demographic data from our respondents. Out of 100 Filipino respondents, when it comes to gender, we found that there is a higher proportion of female expatriate nurses in our study population. On age, it was interesting to discover that majority of our respondents from different countries working abroad fall within the 20 to 25 years old range. And in terms of religion, we observed that the majority of the Filipino respondents identified as Roman Catholic. Lastly, when examining the highest educational attainment, we found out that majority of the respondents had attained a college degree or a bachelor's degree. These demographic insights provide valuable context to our study and help us better understand the profile of the Filipino nurses participating in our research. Moving on to the quantitative data of our study in cultural awareness, Filipino nurses show cultural awareness and recognize the importance of sensitivity when caring for patients with different backgrounds. In cultural encounter, regular encounters with diverse patients contribute to the development of cultural competency skills by fostering empathy and adaptability by Filipino nurses. In cultural skills, Filipino nurses possess effective communication and interpersonal skills, enabling them to establish rapport with patients from different cultures. In cultural knowledge, Filipino nurses have a solid foundation of cultural knowledge integrating Western medicine with patients' cultural preferences. And lastly, we have cultural desire. Filipino nurses are highly motivated to provide culturally competent care, adapting practices, and meeting cultural needs to enhance patient satisfaction and outcomes. The results and discussion regarding the demographic profiles in the cultural competency of Filipino nurses provide an understanding of the factors that may influence their ability to engage in culturally competent care. These variables were analyzed in relation to cultural competency level, including the awareness, encounters, skills, knowledge, and desire. In terms of cultural awareness and desire, we have observed that educational attainment and religion has a significant relationship with the cultural competency of the Filipino nurses. While in cultural encounter and skills, we have noticed a significant relationship with the religion of the expatriate nurses. Ultimately, the study found out that the length of work experience of the nurses significantly affects their cultural knowledge. The final results revealed that demographic factors can have both direct and indirect effects on the cultural competency of Filipino nurses. As a healthcare professional, nurses play a critical role in providing quality care and promoting positive patient outcomes. For the qualitative part, 
several key nursing themes were introduced upon conducting the interview to the respondents, all of which are mentioned as fundamental to nursing practice and patient care. By understanding and incorporating these themes into our nursing practice, we can enhance patient experiences, improve health outcomes, and contribute to the overall well-being of individuals and communities. These emerging themes such as open communication, feedback, accountability, professionalism, and sensitivity play significant roles in fostering cultural awareness within healthcare settings. These themes are crucial for promoting effective interactions, understanding diverse cultural backgrounds, and providing culturally competent care. For instance, open communication involves actively listening to patients, their families, and colleagues from different cultural backgrounds and being open to understanding their perspectives. It builds trust, establish rapport, and ensure that patient preferences and needs are respected. By integrating these themes into healthcare practice, healthcare professionals can enhance their cultural awareness, deliver patient-centered care, and contribute to reducing health disparities among culturally diverse populations. In the presentation, the recommendation section will focus on actionable steps and strategies that can be implemented to enhance the cultural competency of Filipino nurses. These recommendations are based on the findings and discussions regarding demographic profiles and cultural competency levels of Filipino nurses. Cultural competency assessment is to implement regular assessments or evaluations of cultural competency among Filipino nurses to track progress and identify areas for improvement. These assessments can help identify specific training needs and tailor interventions accordingly. Next is to solidify cultural or to have solidified cultural immersion programs. This is to develop policies and guidelines that promote and support cultural competence in healthcare organizations. This can include policies on cultural sensitivity training, language interpretation services, and culturally inclusive practices, as well as supporting organizational policies that will help support cultural competence in healthcare organizations. That includes policies again on cultural sensitivity training, and language interpretation service, and again culturally inclusive practices. Lastly, we can recommend having language proficiency training for our healthcare professionals or for our Filipino nurses to improve their communication skills in the local language of the host country. Language proficiency plays a crucial role in understanding the patient needs by building trust and delivering culturally sensitive care. By implementing these recommendations, healthcare organizations can create a supportive environment that values cultural competence and empowers Filipino nurses to provide optimal care for diverse patient populations. This will enhance the cultural competence of Filipino nurses to provide optimal care to diverse patient populations. Emerging themes that were presented in cultural encounters include cultural consciousness, language acquisition, cultural adaptation, cultural differences, discrimination, and sensitivity. These are all essential in understanding and navigating cultural encounters. This theme significantly promote effective communication, respectful interactions, and a deeper understanding of diverse cultures. One important emerging theme that was introduced was language acquisition. Language acquisition is crucial for effective communication in cultural encounters. In the Philippines, we have different dialects that we need to learn in order to communicate properly with our patients or with the people around us. It doesn't have to be proficient or you don't have to be proficient, no, but rather you need to meet, have more basic knowledge regarding that specific language. This will help reduce communication barriers and it will enhance cultural encounters by again reducing language barriers and promoting more transparent communication. By embracing these emerging themes in cultural encounters, healthcare professionals can enhance their cultural competence, promote inclus inclusivity, and provide culturally sensitive care. Cultural knowledge is essential for providing patient-centered care. It involves understanding and respecting the cultural backgrounds, values, and beliefs of individual patients. By incorporating cultural knowledge into care plans, healthcare professionals can tailor their approach, communication, and interventions to meet the specific needs and preferences of each patient, resulting to better health outcomes and patient satisfaction. These are the emerging themes found under cultural knowledge, which are patient-centered care, cultural diversity, patient satisfaction, observation, socialization, cultural understanding, and cultural trainings and programs. We noted that cultural understanding is one important emerging theme in cultural knowledge as well as cultural trainings and programs. Cultural knowledge is rooted in cultural understanding and involves developing a deep awareness and comprehension of different cultures, their histories, values, and, and customs. It helps healthcare professionals navigate cultural differences, foster effective communication, and build trust with patients from diverse cultural backgrounds. And it can only be achieved by participating in, or it can only be further enhanced through cultural training 
trainings and participating in cultural programs. These initiatives provide healthcare professionals with opportunities to deepen their understanding of cultural diversity. It ensure deliver culturally appropriate and competent care. And by incorporating these teams, we can enable healthcare professionals to provide patient-centered care that respects and embraces cultural diversity. Cultural desire involves having a genuine interest and curiosity about individuals' cultural backgrounds. It encompasses a willingness to learn and understand the diverse experiences, beliefs, and values that shape people's lives. By acknowledging and appreciating individuals' cultural backgrounds, healthcare professionals can demonstrate cultural desire and create a foundation for culturally sensitive care. Other emerging themes include proactive engagement, building relationships, ethical care, and mutual respect. Proactive engagement refers to actively seeking opportunities to engage with individuals from different cultural backgrounds. For building relationships, we all know that cultural desire involves building genuine relationships with individuals from different cultures. It goes beyond surface-level interactions and focuses on establishing meaningful connections based on trust, respect, and understanding. Ethical care, meanwhile, is an integral part of cultural desire as it involves upholding ethical principles and values while providing culturally sensitive care. Healthcare professionals with cultural desire consider the impact of cultural beliefs, practices, and preferences on healthcare decisions and ensure that care aligns with patient cultural value and promotes patient autonomy, respect, and dignity in culturally diverse contexts. Lastly, mutual respect is having um, respect in recognizing and valuing the inherent worth and dignity of individuals from diverse cultural backgrounds. Healthcare professionals with cultural desire approach interactions with humility, empathy, and a non-judgmental attitude. By incorporating these themes into cultural desire, healthcare professionals can cultivate a genuine interest in individuals' cultural backgrounds and actively engage with diverse population, populations, building meaningful relationships, providing ethically sound care, and promote mutual respect. These are the emerging themes that were introduced in cultural skills. We have cultural trainings, diverse patient in interaction, colleagues, community awareness, nursing skill enhancement, adaptability, cultural responsiveness, even racial profiling. And we also have passionate, compassionate, um, open-mindedness, and being a good communicator. One important emerging theme that we have noted is cultural trainings. Cultural trainings and seminars provide individuals with knowledge and understanding of different cultures, helping them develop cultural competence. These trainings enhance individuals' awareness of cultural norms, beliefs, and practices, enabling them to provide culturally sensitive care and effectively navigate diverse cultural encounters. We also have uh, passionate, compassionate, open-mindedness, and, and good communicator. All of these characteristics or values could be further enhanced through cultural trainings and seminar programs in order to provide such themes are such things as racial profiling where if we are culturally skilled or are our health care professionals are culturally skilled, they can avoid using power or even enforce a law that would avoid discriminatory practices due to different cultural backgrounds of patients. By incorporating these themes into cultural skills, healthcare professionals can provide culturally competent care, foster inclusive healthcare environments, and build positive relationships with diverse patients and colleagues. These skills contribute to improve patient outcomes, patient satisfaction, and enhance cultural understanding in healthcare settings. In conclusion, our study revealed that cultural knowledge, awareness, and skills play a crucial role in the cultural competence of Filipino nurses abroad. Effective cross-cultural communication, active listening, empathy, and the ability to navigate cultural differences positively impacted patient satisfaction and the nurse-patient relationships through the cultural encounters of the Filipino nurses. Furthermore, a genuine desire to learn from different or diverse cultures and real-life encounters enhance cultural competence. Cultivating and enhancing cultural competence is an ongoing process that requires continuous learning, self-reflection, and engagement with diverse communities. In the presentation, the recommendation section will focus on actionable steps and strategies that can be implemented to enhance the cultural competency of Filipino nurses. These recommendations are based on the findings and discussions regarding demographic profiles and cultural competency levels of Filipino nurses. Cultural competency assessment is to implement regular assessments or evaluations of cultural competency among Filipino nurses to track progress and identify areas for improvement. These assessments can help identify specific training needs and tailor interventions accordingly. Next is to solidify cultural or to have solidified cultural immersion programs. This is to develop policies and guidelines that promote and support cultural competence in healthcare organizations. 
This can include policies on cultural sensitivity training, language interpretation services, and culturally inclusive practices, as well as supporting organizational policies that will help support cultural competence in healthcare organizations. That includes policies, again, on cultural sensitivity training, in language interpretation service, and in culturally inclusive practices. Lastly, we can recommend having language proficiency training for all healthcare professionals or for Filipino nurses to improve their communication skills in the local language of the host country. Language proficiency plays a crucial role in understanding the patient needs by building trust and delivering culturally sensitive care. By implementing these recommendations, healthcare organizations can create a supportive environment that values cultural competence and empowers Filipino nurses to provide optimal care for diverse patient populations. This will enhance the cultural competence of Filipino nurses to provide optimal care to diverse patient populations. 